In this video, we'll learn about benefits of optimism. Before we discuss how optimism can and will lead to greater success in all areas of your life, it's important to consider the actual physical health benefits that positive thinking can bring about. Many studies have shown how optimism can help individuals cope with illness and maintain better overall health. Your mind and body work as a unit. When your mind is well-tuned, your body reaps the benefits. Optimism and heart health. The term broken heart has some literal truth. Stress, anxiety, and depression can indeed bring on heart problems. The lack of those symptoms, on the other hand, can bring about greater heart health. Optimism is heart healthy. In a particular study, 309 patients were evaluated prior to coronary artery bypass surgery. This included an evaluation of their mental state as related to pessimism, optimism, and self-esteem. Six months following the surgery, it was found that pessimists were twice as likely to require further hospital treatment than the optimistic group. Another study of angioplasty patients revealed that pessimists were three times as likely to suffer a heart attack than optimists. Blood pressure. Numerous studies have confirmed that optimism impacts blood pressure in a very positive way. A study in Finland involved over 600 middle-aged men who had normal blood pressure at the onset of the study. After observing this group for three years, researchers determined the optimists were three times less likely to suffer from high blood pressure than pessimists. The likely reason is that the optimist spends less time worrying and more time taking positive action. These studies have been repeated many times with the same results. People who lean toward positive thinking rather than negative are far more likely to be calmer and less likely to suffer from high blood pressure. Infections. Anyone can suffer from an infection. Infections are generally caused by invading foreign organisms that infect the body and continue to multiply. Sometimes the body will handle these invaders itself. Other times it may succumb to disease through a weakened immune system. In a 2006 study, 193 healthy men and women were given a respiratory virus. The results were that those volunteers judged to have a positive outlook were less likely to develop signs of infections. Optimism can strengthen the immune system and help ward off diseases. Many people don't realize the full power of the mind. Overall health. In a two-year study relating to optimism and overall health, researchers evaluated 2,300 adults. At the end of the study, they determined that those adults with the most positive outlook had a greater likelihood of enjoying better overall health than their negative counterparts. Optimism and longevity. If optimism can improve people's health, the logical assumption would be that it can boost longevity as well. This supposition was proven in two separate studies. A 1960 study evaluated 839 people for optimism and overall health. These people were rechecked after 30 years. The results showed that optimists who increased their pessimism also increased their mortality rate. Those who remained optimistic or increased their level of optimism had a lower mortality rate. The second study during the same period involved 6,959 students who were evaluated over a 40-year period. At the end of the study, pessimists had a 42% higher death rate than the more positive thinking group. A number of similar studies have confirmed the findings that an optimistic attitude can lead to better health and a longer life. Optimism and stress. Stress is one of the leading causes of death. A recent study showed that everyone, optimists and pessimists, experience stress. It's a part of life and it can't be avoided. It's how an individual handles stress that's important. The same study revealed that optimists recovered much quicker from stress-related incidents than pessimists. As a whole, optimists feel less stressed because they don't expect everything to go their way. They're mentally prepared to expect the best, but when it doesn't happen, they keep trying. The world doesn't fall apart because they are better able to cope. Adversity is seen as temporary in nature instead of a normal fact of life. Since optimists tend to be more hopeful and self-confident, they're also likely to try harder, take more risk, and thereby create more positive events in their lives than pessimists. Optimists are better leaders. The benefit of optimism goes far beyond health. It's well known that optimism is an essential characteristic of an effective leader, and there are logical reasons for this. Optimists recognize opportunities and refuse to be victims of circumstances. During bad economic times, which can overwhelm pessimists, optimists find ways to start a business and provide jobs for other people. 
This would be impossible if a person were filled with worries about uncertainties. Optimistic leaders communicate positivity to those around them and inspire trust and loyalty. People want to be around optimists. They not only encourage themselves to do more, they encourage those around them. Pessimists can worry about every minutia that could go wrong, preventing them from even getting started. Optimists are confident in their ability to handle the details and focus on the larger picture of solving problems. They refuse to be stopped by a this-is-impossible mentality. Optimists are willing to work to achieve their goals because they know they will face obstacles. These roadblocks are not deterrents but challenges. People are willing to follow optimists because they understand that the optimists will work to improve a situation. Optimists aren't just confident. They inspire confidence in others. That's why they make effective managers. Optimism encourages persistence. Because optimists don't expect guarantees, they do not give up easily when life becomes bleak. They know success is possible, so giving up is rarely an option for them. Success is simply a matter of how and when instead of it. Most entrepreneurs have failed several times before reaching their goal, but they don't let that stop them. And once they reach their original goal, they continue to reach further. For an optimist, there are no limits, only possibilities. Optimism and anxiety. Many studies have shown how optimism serves as a balm against anxiety. One of the most prevalent cases of anxiety is irrational thinking. If you are a pessimist, you see two people quietly talking. You assume they're making fun of you. The boss just passed your desk and didn't even acknowledge you, so you assume she hates you. People suffering from anxiety hold these thoughts even when there is not an iota of evidence to support them. Their mindset is to fear and expect the worst. Anxiety is pessimism in its extreme form. Obviously, the best way to combat anxiety is to strive for optimism. If you're used to expecting the worst, it can be difficult to change that mindset quickly. You can, however, achieve greater optimism by taking smaller steps. Ask yourself, is there any basis for your thoughts? Give other people the benefit of doubt. While it may not sound optimistic, ask yourself if you are really important enough for people to be talking behind your back. Most people are too wrapped up in themselves to give others that much thought. Ask yourself if there might be a reason for someone else's behavior that doesn't involve you at all. While optimism is outward directed, pessimism is very inward looking. When you get into the habit of challenging irrational and pessimistic beliefs, they lose their grip. That's when you can slowly allow yourself to think more positively and lessen any feelings of anxiety.